was uh, there was a snowstorm on December 17th. Um, the same day that I was going to an exhibition uh, of, at the MFA. I was supposed to go with a friend, but uh, there was a snowstorm and I couldn't make it. So I went, out, I went there alone. Um, so by the time I got to the museum, I was covered in snow. With, I was wet, cold. I swear that I could have passed out any moment. Well, not until I stepped into the museum. It was not. It was empty. It was nothing I could because I was so amazed by, by everything in, inside the MFA. I was so stunned going somewhere like this. So I walked my way through the entire MFA for two and a half hours, and all I could remember was uh, was standing at. Um, the Monet exhibition I couldn't get inside so I stood there in silence from a corner outside the, the, the exhibition I could only see one painting and it was the green stack sunset and my eyes was focused on it but like as if the building was like as if the building went into total darkness and it was just me and the painting. It has such life in it that I could see myself being there, sitting in the middle of the field and just watching the sun go down. And it was still snowing outside by the time I got to the museum. So I just I, I start walking and I I don't know I didn't know where to uh, where exactly I have to go. I just I just walk and, and every corner that I went by was filled with the colors that I just saw from that painting of the MFA. I thought to myself that maybe I was still in that painting, maybe I was still there just walking in, I don't know, from one place to another. Screw it. I hate Boston. I hate everything about it. The street plans. How beautiful it is uh, at night. How I romanticize the idea of walking around Boston and, and how it makes me feel so free every time. I met this person on the last day I was in Boston. Funny thing is I only got two and a half hours to meet this person. I don't really know how to end this. But for that two and a half hour, we, we walked around the city. And Boston kept it silent. There wasn't a sound or anything. No, not a conversation. And that was it. Two and a half hour went by so fast. Everything so magical about a city was gone. For two and a half hours, Boston was just empty. There was nothing left in the city. It kept it silent, and I kept my silence. Not even a conversation between me. I know I should have said something on that night. I, I should have said more, knowing that this would be the last chance that I'd meet someone, and this would be my last night in Boston. I know I had to make it special, but Boston and she left, and that was it. At the end, it was just me and Boston again. I hate Boston. How it ended that night so quickly. Everything about it is so beautiful, so romantic. Tragically romantic.